Dementia is a word we give to a set of symptoms affecting different aspects of thinking and brain function that get worse over time and affect the way we live our lives. Dementia is not a normal part of aging. It is the result of physical diseases that damage the brain. Everything that makes us who we are, our personalities, intelligence, emotions, our hopes and our fears are driven by this incredible organ. The brain is the most complex structure in the known universe. Intricate networks of brain cells, bundles of nerve fibers, and hundreds of miles of blood vessels all work in careful unison to keep us ticking every day. Every second of our lives, nerve cells in the brain are firing. But when these cells become damaged, and their connections start to break down, a person can develop dementia. The area of the brain where this damage occurs determines the symptoms a person experiences. If nerve cells in the back of the brain are damaged, a person's vision might be affected and they may have trouble reading words or climbing stairs. If nerve cells in the side of the brain are damaged, communication and language skills can change. There are four main diseases that cause dementia. The symptoms of these can overlap, sometimes making them difficult to tell apart. While each disease has characteristic symptoms, these can change from person to person depending on which areas of the brain the disease is affecting. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia. Often, one of the first areas of the brain to be affected by Alzheimer's is the hippocampus. The hippocampus controls aspects of our memory and navigation. So, forgetfulness and getting lost are usually some of the first symptoms of Alzheimer's. In Alzheimer's, nerve cells are damaged by a buildup of two proteins in the brain, amyloid and tau. These proteins are present in all of our brains, but in Alzheimer's they behave unusually and begin to clump together. Researchers are still trying to understand what triggers this, but it's likely to be a mix of age, genetics, and other factors such as poor heart health. The buildup of harmful proteins is also a key factor in other diseases behind the condition, like dementia with Lewy bodies and frontotemporal dementia. This damage spreads from one area of the brain to another as the condition progresses. So symptoms get worse over time and people begin to find more aspects of day-to-day -day life difficult. Dementia with Lewy bodies can affect different areas of the brain, leading to a variety of symptoms including changes in attention, sleep problems, and hallucinations. The processes involved in dementia with Lewy bodies are similar to those involved in Parkinson's disease. And people with dementia with Lewy bodies can also develop Parkinson's-like symptoms, such as shaking and slowed movement. Vascular dementia can occur after someone has had a stroke or the blood vessels in their brain are in poor health. While the other diseases that cause dementia spread steadily through the brain over time, Vascular dementia can progress in distinct steps after an event such as a stroke, slowing a person's ability to think, plan, and pay attention. Unfortunately, there is currently no cure for any of the diseases that cause dementia, and no treatments that can slow or stop the spread of these diseases through the brain. Researchers all over the world are looking for new ways to tackle these diseases and protect precious nerve cells. Their work has the power to offer new hope to millions of individuals and families whose lives are affected by dementia. To find out more, search Alzheimer's Research UK.